Another part of section 8.3 is polynomial division. I would pause the video and write down these definitions. So these are the same definitions that we use for regular long division. You have your dividend, which is the number that is being divided by another number, or in this case polynomials. Your divisor is the polynomial that's being divided into something. The quotient is your answer, and the remainder is whatever you have left over if it doesn't perfectly divide. Also remember your dividend is equal to your divisor times your quotient plus your remainder back. So that's going the opposite direction. So first I want you to pause the video and divide 942 by 12 using long division, no calculators. So setting up our long division, the dividend goes inside the house, the divisor goes outside, 12 does not go into 9, so 12, how many times does 12 go into 94? Or what do I have to multiply 12 by to get something close to 94? 7, multiply it back as 84, subtract, you get 10, bring down your 2. What do I have to multiply 12 by to get as close to 102 as I can? It's an 8, 8 times 12 is 96, subtract, and you end up with 6. Because there's nothing else left, you have a remainder of 6. So we could write 12, 942 divided by 12 is 78 plus 6 over 2, or tw excuse me, 6 over 12, or a remainder of 6. We do the polynomial division very similar to regular long division. The div dividend goes inside the house, the divisor goes outside the house. Then we want to focus on the first term. What do we have to multiply the first term by? Making sure everything is written in standard form to get our 3x cubed. So to get x, what do I have to multiply x by to get 3x cubed? I need to multiply by a 3x squared. And then I multiply back. 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. 3x squared times 2 is plus 6x squared. Just like in long division, I'm going to subtract this off. Make sure you subtract the entire thing and distribute that negative all the way through. So normally I even actually distribute the negative through and write it that way. So 3x cubed minus 3x cubed goes to 0. That should always happen. Negative x squared minus 6x squared is negative 7x squared. Now bring down the next term. And go back to the beginning. What do I have to multiply x by? to get negative 7x squared. So negative 7x squared is x times negative 7x. And multiply back, negative 7x times x is negative 7x squared. Negative 7x times 2 is negative 14x. And I'm going to subtract off. I'm going to distribute my negative all the way through. Negative 7x squared minus 7, uh, plus 7x squared is 0, so that goes away. x plus 14x is 15x, and bring down the negative 2. So what do I have to multiply x by to get 15x? I need to multiply it by a 15. Multiply back, 15 times x is 15x. 15, 15 times 2 is positive 30, and then I need to subtract through, so I distributed my negative through. 15x minus 15x go to 0, negative 2 minus 30 more is negative 32. So I have a remainder of negative 32. And we can write it just the way that we wrote the long division. So you have your quotient, 3x squared minus 7x plus 15, plus your remainder divided by your divisor. So minus 32 over x plus 2. So now we have x to the fourth minus 1, and we want to divide that by x squared plus 1. Whenever you have missing terms, you always want to have placeholders. You want to put in zeros for those placeholders. So the setup for this one, I'm going to have my divisor, but I'm going to change it to x squared plus 0x plus 1 with the placeholder for the missing x term. And then my dividend, I'm going to have placeholders for the x cubed, the x squared, and the x. So I have x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 1. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one. So the first one, what do I have to multiply x squared by to get x to the fourth? I need to multiply it by an x squared. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. 
x squared times 0x is 0x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. Distribute your negative all the way through. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is 0. That goes away. 0x cubed minus 0x cubed is just 0x cubed, so that goes away. 0x squared minus an x squared is negative x squared. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and pause the video and finish this division. So what do I have to multiply x squared by to get negative x squared? I have to multiply it by a negative 1. I brought both the 0x and the negative 1 down because I knew I was going to have to go all the way down to the constant term. So negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. Negative 1 times 0x is 0x. Negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1, and I distribute my negative all the way through. Negative x squared plus x squared goes away. 0x's are going to go away. Negative 1 plus 1 goes away, so I have a remainder of 0. And my quotient, my answer, is x squared minus 1. So here's one more example. Go ahead and pause the video and divide 1 minus x plus x to the fourth by x squared plus x plus 1. I highly encourage you to write everything in standard form first. So I rewrote the dividend in standard form having placeholders for x cubed and x squared. So what do I have to multiply x squared by to get x to the fourth? I have to multiply it by an x squared. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. Subtract all the way through. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth goes away. You're left with a negative x cubed minus x squared, and then I brought down the negative x. What do I have to multiply x squared by to get negative x cubed? I need to multiply it by a negative x. So you get negative x cubed minus x squared minus 1, uh, excuse me, minus x. Distribute a negative all the way through. Everything ends up going away, and they all cancel each other off. Bring down the 1. You're left with a remainder of 1. So your final answer is x squared minus x plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1. So this has been polynomial division.